Luke chapter 2, verses 8 up to 14. Allow me to read. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace among those with whom he is pleased. This is God's word. Please be seated. Okay. So, millions all over the world are celebrating Christmas come the December season, especially December 25, which actually my brothers and sisters is of course a very special day, not only because it is the day wherein we remember the birth of our Lord, which, of, which is of course the most important thing, pero amo man ni siya ang birthday sang akon father no si Maning Cortez ayok ayok niya lang ayok niya lang na nickname actually his name is Emmanuel and of course you know what the word the name Emmanuel means no what does it mean god with us so the whole world is celebrating christmas but sometimes you wonder if they really know what the significance and meaning of christmas is But as Christians, as people who are born again, as people who have received Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, above all people, we are supposed to be the ones who should know what Christmas is all about. Kagamuna, actually, ang mensahe ta, subong nga hapon. It's very simple. The message this afternoon is the message of Christmas. Na. Abon ang title sa ngatong mensahe, Subong nga hapon. And this afternoon, I intend to answer two questions. Number one, based on our passage, what is the meaning or significance of Christmas? What is Christmas all about? And number two, who is this message for? Para kay sino ini? Ining mensahe nga ini. So balik kita, without further ado, let's keep this brief, no? Let's go direct to the point. What is Christmas all about? What is the message of Christmas? Kag kung basahon mo ang verse 9, makita mo dang sabat, hambal dira, and an angel of the Lord appeared to them, the shepherds, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, For behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. And here, very simply, my brothers and sisters, is the message of Christmas. It's very simple. It can be summarized in these two words. The message of Christmas is, Fear not. Instead, rejoice. Because of the good news of great joy. So let us meditate first, no? On those two words, fear not. Nga agin hambal inak sang anghel. Of course, if you want to be very strictly technical, okay, about interpreting the words of Scripture according to their context, you will of course uh, agree with me when I say nga atong kahadlok sang mga shepherds, atong fear sang mga shepherds was inspired by their seeing this supernatural sight imagine kung ikaw man bi sa lugar sang mga anghel as i mean nat sang mga anghel sang mga shepherds kag gulti lang nagtuhaw ining anghel kag multitude of angels syempre kung ikaw sa lugar sa shepherds makulbaan ka man 
But I suggest to you that there is a truth here, a universal truth, which, you know, is inescapable. Matungod din niya. When we think about the words, fear not, it brings to mind the truth, the fact, about the human condition. Ano gid ano gid bala ang sitwasyon kag kondisyones sang tawo diri sa kalibutan. And I propose to you based on your common experience, based on observation and based on the scriptures itself, the human condition is basically one of fearfulness. Do you agree with me? Ang kabuhi sang tawo diri sa kalibutan puno sang kahadlok ang aton kabuhi na punan, na libutan, sang kahadlo. We are full as human beings, we are full of fears without or outside of us, and full of fears within. Amoy ni ang kabuhi sang tawo. If you really reflect on the kind of lives people are living in this world, it does not matter who you are. Manggaranon ka man, Imol ka man, may masakit ka man, healthy ka man, tigulang ka man, bataon ka man. All of us, as human beings, are full of fears. Tanan na lang klase nga kahadlo. Listen to me, my brothers, because this is very true. Brothers and sisters, this is very true, di ba? We have all kinds of fears. Nahadlo kita sa poverty. Nahadlo kita sa ngamuhuyan. We are afraid of pain. We are afraid of failure. Kadamo na lang sa mga butang nga ginakahadlokan ta. And you know what? Kung imugid analyze ron, all those fears nga ginmensyonar ko, and whatever it is you you are afraid of, whether it is you are afraid of other people, you are afraid of the virus, COVID, you are afraid of, as I said, you are afraid of shame, you are afraid of sickness, you are afraid of pain, you're afraid of failure, whatever it is, all of those fears can be summarized in the most basic fear of all. You know what that is? What am I talking about? What is the core fear of all? The most basic fear. Ang pinakatalong gidya na kahadlok, na ugat sa tanang klase na kahadlok. What is it? The fear of death. Ato yung tanan nga nangyong ko. They are just forms, types, and manifestations of this basic fear. When you are afraid of pain, when you are afraid of sickness, when you are afraid of the threat to your happiness, the threat to your success, ultimately, ang pinakaugat sina, ang pinaka-basic form sina, is the fear of death. Nahadlok ka nga madula. Ang imo kabuhi, ang imo ginhawa, ang imo manggad, ang imo maayo nga reputasyon, whatever it is you're afraid of. Ultimately, it's about the fear of loss, the greatest loss of which is death, the loss of life. So, ako nang pinaka fear di dya sa tao. In fact, going ahead of myself, kung magkato ka sa Hebrews chapter 2, verse 15, In your Bibles, kung hindi nyo mang ginmabasa, mentionary ko na lang sa inyo, gina-identify da sa Biblia kung ano ining pinaka-basic fear of all, which I told you all about. Jesus Christ came to deliver us from the greatest fear of all, which is the fear of death. Ara, sa Hebrews 2.15. Basahan mo niyo. Ara da. Jesus Christ came to deliver us from those who, from the fear of death, those who are enslaved to this fear of death. Kita nyo? Hebrews 2.15 That is our situation. Kagkabalo na ang ginoo. This is the problem which really needs to be solved. The fear of death. Kagang dasun nga pamangkota mo ni. Where did it come from? Where did it, it originate? Nga anangin mahaladlukon ang tao. Nga nahadlukit kita, especially sa kamatayon. And again, the Bible answers that question. The origin of fear, especially the fear of death, it is sin. Tito nagsugod sa Garden of Eden. Balikan nyo, I do not have time to read it. Just remember, it's a very familiar story. Try to remember it. Go to, I believe it's in Genesis chapter 
Balikan mo ang Genesis chapter, I mean 3. Kadto ka sa Genesis chapter 3. And you remember nga gintaong ni, what is this, ni Eva, ang prutas. Hindi iya matsana sa, wala ta kabalungong ano to, hambal sa iban, matsanas to no. But actually, the Bible does not say specifically what kind of fruit it was. Basta gintaon ni Eva, ginhagat niya iya bana, kinaon man sa bana. What was the result, if you remember? Nakita nila na hubot pala sila, hubot hubad. And they were ashamed. And you know what? The Bible in Genesis chapter 3 proceeds to say nga ang ginoo naglakat dito sa Garden of Eden. The, the Lord was walking in the Garden of Eden. Kagstang nabatian ni Adan kag ni Eva ang lakatutong ginoo. What did they do? Nanago sila. Kagin pamangkot sila sa ginoo. Nga ang nanago ka mo. Kagang sabak nila, we were afraid. So I asked you again, what was the origin of their fear? To complete the sentence, sambal nila, they were afraid because they realized that they were naked. Kagin pamangkot sila sa ginoo. How do you know that you are naked? Did you eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil? But to cut the long story short, the point is simply this. Na ka-experience sila sa kahuya. Kag naka-experience sila sa kahadlok, because they sin. In other words, my brothers and sisters, ang fears naton, ang kahadlok naton, whatever it is, especially the fear of death, it is ultimately the result of sin. Separation sa ginoo. Kay when you sin, you're separated from God you find out that you are without protection, naked, hubot, hubad, wala protection, wala sang covering, you no longer feel safe, you feel threatened by all kinds of threats around you. Hey, wala ka na sang defender, wala ka na sang protector, wala ka na sang refuge, kaya ginbayangan mo siya, nagpakasala kita mo. And that is why we are so afraid we, know we are separated from the only one who can protect us and keep us safe. God. When we sin, we are naked, defenseless, helps, helpless, protectionless. Nga? When we sin, we are separated from God. Kaga muna actually, ang determining sang death eh. Ang Paminsarang sa ngiban, death means no dam ka ginawa. That's just a surface definition. You already know the biblical definition of death, di ba? It is separated from God. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Separation from God. And the wages of sin is death. But praise the Lord, here is the message of Christmas. Fear na. Hindi mo na kinanglanon, mahadlok. Yes, because of our sins, we are full of fears. But we do not have to be afraid anymore. Because, and here's my, and here's the main point sa ngining nga mensahe, because the gospel is the antidote to fear. Hindi ko na lang may pag explain word for word yet, ah. Let me just speak from my heart. Hambal dira sa Biblia. Don't be afraid because I bring you glad tidings, good news of great joy. Instead, no mahadlok ka because of your sins, which is the root of all our fears. Dapat magkalipay ka. Nga ah! Because I bring you good news, a Savior is born. May ara kita, gintagalaan kita, maluluwas from all our sins and from everything that makes us afraid. A Savior, tag sinuning Savior, nene, Jesus Christ, the Lord. Okay, duha lang ka punto. Nga hindi na kita dapat mahadlok. And why this is the message of Christmas? Because of the good news of great joy, dapat malipay ka gitsin that we have been given, number one, a Savior. 
Ginmensyon ko kagina, Jesus siyempre, ang ngala ni Jesus, of course. But his other name in Matthew chapter 1.21, if you remember, ginmensyon ko kagina, is Emmanuel, God with us. Okay? Kag very important ni. It's very important for you to know that this is the antidote and solution to our fears. Kaya kung basahon mo ang Biblia, even in the Old Testament, the solution to fear was always the presence of God. Naghambal na kita ko gina nga, ang rason nga na hadlo kita, kaya actually, nahiwalay kita sa Diyos. So, logically, very simply, the solution is, manumbalik kita sa iya. We have to be reconciled to Him and He has to be our God. Oh, Joshua 1.9. Memorize tani sa mga kabat sang bata pa kita. Di ba? In, in Joshua, what does Joshua 1.9 say? Have not I commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord, thy God, is with thee, with her so ever thy goest. Sinong solusyon sa fear? Sino? Presensya sa gino. His gracious presence is the solution to our fears. Oh, kato ka sa New Testament. I think it's Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Oh, nga wala siya na hadlo. Because the Lord is my helper. Then in one of the Psalms, what does the Bible say? The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Of whom shall I be afraid? Kato ka sa Romans chapter 8. Anong hambal ni Paul? If God be for us, who can be against us? And he proceeds to say, who shall separate us from the love of God? Death? Wala na po na adlog sa kamatayon. Sickness? Persecution? Kagtanang pa dahil naging mensyonar niya? Wala na po na adlog. Nga, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ to love us. Nga, sinong si Jesus Christ tau? He is God with us. In the person of Jesus Christ, the only solution to our fears has come near. Nagpalapit ang solusyon sa tanan nato ng katlo. Kagang solusyon ay nasa Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is God. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word was made flesh and dwelt with us. That is why it's a simple message on Christmas, but it's very precious. Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus Christ is the Savior from all our sins. And when He did that, at the same time, He delivered us from fear. Hey, mga utod, ano pa ating tatlukan mo? Oh, mention anything that you're afraid of. Death? For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Nga mga atlo ka pa sa kamatayan, may eternal life ka. You are afraid of poverty? Reserved in heaven for you are the treasures of heaven, streets of gold, gates of pearl, and the riches of glory are prepared and reserved for you. For my God shall supply all your needs according to His riches in glory. Hindi na yan. Wala. No comparison between the billions and trillions of this world compared compared to the riches of glory. So, why are you afraid of poverty? Afraid of sickness? Even if this body were to die, God will raise it up again and we shall be with the Lord forevermore. And finally, I remember that verse, Psalm 23. Verse 4, no? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear No, even for thou art with me. The simplest message of Christmas. 
fear not. God has come here in the person of Jesus Christ, the Lord. God with us. Pero there's a second question, and I will close with this. For whom is this message? In a sense, ang ini nga mensahe, para ni Satanan. Kaya hambal, hambal dira sa gimpasa, ta sa verse 9, I think sa Luke chapter 2, hambal dira, nga this is glad tidings of great joy for all people. But remember, not everyone received the Lord. Si Pastor Darin, nagwali, was it last week, Pastor? Or when did you preach about two weeks ago? Rejected by his own. John chapter 1, verse 11. He came to his own, but his own rejected him. This message is for all, but not everyone received it. Sino ang nagbaton? Have you not wondered about the fact nga sa kadamo, pwede pakitaan sang anghel, he, the angels could have appeared to nobility, to royalty. Pwede to sila magkanta, magamba, tikto sa mga palasyo. What? What did the angels do? They chose to appear sa mga lowly shepherds, tikto sa fields. You know why? There's a message here. Hambal sa ginoo, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Hambal pagit sa Isaiah 66, I think, Isaiah 66, Arada, to this person I will look, he who is humble and contrite of heart. Kag si James, I think it's chapter 1, I'm not sure if it's verse 21, Hambal ni Apostle James, receive with meekness the word of God, the implanted word. Diri ako matakot. The message of Christmas is wonderful. The message of Christmas is simple. The message of Christmas is joyful. It's the solution to all our fears. But the message of Christmas is only for the humble. Unless you become like little children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Ang anghel, tito sila yan nagpakita sa lowly shepherds. Wala sila yan nagpakita sa palasyo, sa nobility, kag royalty. Because to this one, will I look humble sa ginoo? Those who are humble and contrite of heart. I offer you the message of Christmas. The antidote to all your fears. Jesus Christ, the Savior, God with us. The solution to death and the fear of death. The gift of eternal life. But He will only be yours if you humbly bow before Him and tell Him, Lord, You are my King. You are my Savior. I need You. I cannot save myself. Please save me. I receive You into my heart as God's Christmas gift to me. I hope you will do that this afternoon. And I end with my favorite verse. Alos tanan kong awali. Ari niya. John 3.16. Christmas gift. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Fear not. Let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for your wonderful gift, yourself, in the person of Jesus Christ. Ang amon kabuhi, napunan sa kahadlok, because by our own fault, we made ourselves defenseless, defenseless by running away from the one who can protect us, from the one who is the source of eternal life. So na-expose kami sa tanang klases ang threats to our existence. And that is why we are so afraid of everything, especially the fear of death. But thank you, nga bisa nalagyo kami, kag nagpalayo kami, ginpangita mo kami, kag nagpalapit ka sa amon in the person of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the message of this past. We no longer need to fear because you are now with us. Ginoo, tudlo igit kami nga mangin humble kag meek because that is the only way we can truly have you 
in our lives if with meekness we accept your Christmas gift, Jesus Christ, the Savior. In whose name we pray and the people of God say, Amen.